G'day guys, it's Billy here from Southern West Australia. Well fellas, it is a deadly baby jugite snake what I found in my yard the other day. It's only small, but I, how I found it guys, I was raking up my yard and um, my magpie kind of went a little bit berserk, squawking and all of that and he alerted me to this beautiful yet deadly snake. So the baby ones are far more deadlier than the really big ones, fellas. So I'm pretty sure this is a juvenile jugite snake. I actually saw a really big one in my backyard, probably around five foot long, big fat jugite, exactly the same as this one, the black head. So the jugites come in all different colors, fellas. I've seen some absolutely beautiful ones. I've seen near white jugites, like I saw this beautiful, it was nearly white, it was amazing. Um, brown, dark brown, black, and the ones like this with a black head. So I'm pretty sure, if I'm, if I'm wrong fellas, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought it might have been a, a Goulds snake, G-O-U-L-D-S. But um, I did a bit of research guys and apparently this looks like a juvenile chugite snake and the big one I saw in my yard was right next to one of my sheds and yeah it scared the hell out of me guys it's not good when you have these big snakes in your yard especially if you got pets dogs and so forth so yeah what happened when I saw it it went below all my I've got a whole heap of old wagon wheels and other iron relics and so forth it went in there so I was hoping it would have disappeared but it looks like it's probably bred and had babies so this is uh, possibly one of its offspring. Unsure how many offspring they have. Probably around five or six in the litter. But uh, yeah, and it's a little bit ferocious too, guys. I'll show you. And I just put a bit of water there. It has been drinking it. So I'll just grab a little bit of wood here, fellas. And I'll show you how it lashes out. So I'm not trying to provoke it at all, guys. I am going to release this snake in the bush. We'll just turn around. So obviously I'm just a bit worried of it. It does jump up, guys. Yeah, I'm not going to provoke it, fellas. We nearly got out the bucket the other day. Or well, not the other day, a few minutes ago. So the last thing I want to get is bitten by a deadly jugite snake, fellas. People do get killed by these. It's, it is uncommon, but there's probably... I think last year, earlier this year, one or two people got killed by these snakes in West Australia. Probably average around five to ten people getting bitten each year by these snakes. But from what I heard, guys, these are more deadlier than the adult jugites because they've got far more venom in them as babies. So it's a beautiful looking snake no matter what guys, but, but obviously I could have a few more of these in my yard. And I've got a lot of rocks and ponds, heaps of ponds fellas in my yard. If you want to see my yard guys I'll put a link below in the video. Um, where I do, do a tour of my yard, it's pretty big, oh, about a quarter acre block fellas, but anyway, these ponds, these snakes would be able to smell this water, you know, these ponds, frogs and tadpoles, and that's how they get in. I had blocked off most of my fences and so forth guys, but no matter what, they're still going to get in no matter what, and I live in a, um, right on the edge of a huge big patch of bush in my area. So, anyway guys, that's a juvenile baby ju jugite snake, and beautiful snake no matter what, but you just don't want to get bitten by one of those. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, and that's a baby juvenile jugite snake, and I'll be releasing that in the next couple of days in the bush. Might even do a video on releasing it, guys. 
will take you out to a beautiful spot where I'm going to go digging for the really kind of quite rare and uncommon turtle frog. There's no videos on the turtle frog on YouTube of the actual live turtle frog. So I'm going to try and do a video on digging up a beautiful, uh, very, very unusual turtle frog. So we're all, we'll release this snake in the same area. So, but like I say, fellas, the, the younger these deadly snakes are, the more deadly they are. They are. All right, thanks for watching, fellas. Really appreciate it. We'll chat soon. We'll do a video on releasing this free this snake maybe tomorrow. All right, see you, fellas. I'd love to keep on filming, but it's a bit too risky to get to get closer. And there was a slater. Chucked a few slaters in, hoping that it would eat them, but it doesn't look like they. It has eaten any lizards and little frogs and so forth. They'd eat mice, etc. A bit too small to eat a full mouse, but the big ones. And that big one is huge, and it's somewhere in my yard, fellas. Unfortunately. All right, we'll chat soon, guys, and check out the video links below to other amazing snakes I've come across. I'll put a video link to a huge, massive carpet python, what I came across a few years ago. It's an amazing video. It deserves a lot more views than what it's got. All right, fellas, we'll catch you later. See ya.